The most important stage is when you're doing chisel or you're doing techniques. Punch comes in, you're shifting into a position to use the leg the same time as your arms. Mm -hmm. Left punch comes in, you're shifting to positions, changing positions. If you notice from here, my knee's actually staying in the same place. Yeah. I'll pivot around the knee to shift okay. so I can use the, the yeah, stern cone or dummy technique. Mm -hmm. But when you initially step in, step in, I'm cutting off the line so you can no longer use either leg to kick with. Yeah. I'm aware of that. Go back, same point. Whether it's there or there, I can still maintain a contact and a cover, the control over the leg. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of how I use my legs. Punch comes in. I shift, I can go into the leg that way. Just shifting your balance, but then if I do it this way, punch comes in. I need not give back this way. I've got to be aware of that leg and then cover it. So I've got to look at the way that my centre line is being threatened. Mm -hmm. How I can threaten not just your centre line but also your stance. Mm -hmm. Punch comes in. Step out. Take the leg out. Punch comes in. Step out. Take the leg out. Take mm -hmm. the stance out. These are ways that I can actually control you and use my leg in certain ways. Yeah. Kick comes in. Kick. Come up. Come in. Kick comes in. Come up. Ah, go centre. Doesn't make any difference. So the right leg comes in. Come up. Come in. Right leg comes in. Come in. I can do that off either leg, or just using right. the same leg. Yeah. So left kick comes in, I can cover out, and come in. Left kick comes in, I can shift out, cover, and then come in. Right. Open. Cover across and come in. <coughs> right kick comes in, cover across, attack the back leg. Comes in again, I shift out, and then I can come in. So I can use my legs. Either leg on either one of your legs. It's right. still the same. The idea is the principle of stepping or covering the centre line. Mm -hmm. If I'm just covering the centre line, I'll be going across. Right, just across the line. If I've stepped, I'll be attacking the other leg. Yeah. It's how the line is into me. If you do a kick straight into my centre line, so this is this kick's coming into here. If I haven't moved, then I've got to protect the centre line. You can go across your line. If I see the kick coming, I move, move. then I can actually make an effect on your leg and change. You only move it, you're going to use it. So that's the difference between which one do you use. It depends. Yeah. If you haven't got time to move, you protect your centre leg. Yeah. Once you've moved, you protect your centre leg. Okay. My knees come onto the centre line, the leg is coming this way, I can then attack the knee Northern, yeah. and then move in. Depending on like, various techniques, what you can actually do. So that's yeah. the raised leg. If you're coming with a punch, you now can attack the stance the same way. Either attacking this way, locking the leg, or left punch, left step. If I step outside, this way, attacking, attacking the outside of the stump here. When I'm doing this, I'm actually using this energy through my leg here, I'm isolating there. Right punch, I step out and move into that. Coming through there at this point, that's lifting you up off the floor. That's shifting you. I'm not doing no floor problem. From there, I'm actually coming out with this leg. Bigger muscle. Well, it's, it's, it's a body momentum. So I'm like lifting and shifting. Mm -hmm. If I'm looking at a trapping technique when the right punch comes in, I can actually trap onto there, lock into there, and then shift down off so I can isolate the two halves. Then I can actually pull down and push. Oh, I don't want to use it from there, first try. Right. But it means that I take the front leg out, I'll, if I lock the front leg, you can't kick with either leg. That's coming in this way. So again, the same thing, punch comes in. I can actually come in this way. Right. So 
so I can lock and take. Mm-hmm. We're going to look into the kicks. Punch comes in. It goes mm-hmm. straight onto it. Depending on the situation. Punch comes in. I get out. I can attack inside of the knee. Yeah. Punch comes in. I can come out. Attack outside of knee. We can now look into the distance from high to low. Punch comes in. Take out. Come high onto the drop down onto the knee. Alright. The variation. Punch comes in. Step up. Come there into the knee. Lifting up into the knee. Right. Low and high. Low and high. It's the variation. I've got the possibility to do that. So I've got the variation high, low, low, high, right. inside, outside. This is what we're looking at. Again, so it depends on what happens. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Punch comes in. I take you out this way. Right, from the inside. Punch comes in. I can take you out that way mm-hmm. from the outside. I can't just punch comes in. Come straight through the middle. Yeah, and take your without mm-hmm. using the legs because there's a gap there. Depends on how I think you are aware of your legs. Right. Or if the situation wants it. Second form, second third, punch comes in, lift up. Right, straight in. Straight in. Will have an effect. Mm-hmm. Whether it's in the groin or actually into the knee to come on. Right, to stop you coming into it. Well, there's various ways, but this is why what I was saying earlier on is you've got to feel the legs, understand the legs, yeah. become aware of them so they do become. So you've mm-hmm. got three, you've got three free limbs right. to actually to feel with, to actually change in. You're aware of them. You're aware of what they're going to do. But the main thing is that they go on your center when you step. You go you're on your you're, you're protecting your center line and operating from there. Not too high, it's taking it out of the way, it's not necessary. Your hands can deal with down here, therefore you're using your lower leg and your knee to come and take. Yeah. To be aware of that is difficult though. Mm-hmm. It takes time. It all starts from this idea of using that exercise to become aware of your legs. Using this exercise to then start playing with the legs and the energies. Yeah. But ultimately you just got to ha- have an idea about how to use the energy in the leg. Yeah. Whether it's kicking or using the energy into the leg to have an effect on the opposition, on the opponent. Whether it's in the heel or whether it's in the knee. All right. You understand how you're using the energy in the leg. In the direction. So chiga itself mm-hmm. is something that uh, it doesn't it doesn't exist to a great extent. Punch comes in, I'll stick, I'll change, I'll stick. You're not gonna re- you're not looking for more than one or two techniques. You're gonna be shifting and changing. The majority of the situation punch comes in, you're gonna be taking something out and then coming yeah, in. Yeah. You're gonna be using it straight away. It's not, you can't really do it the extended way of chi cell, mm-hmm. where you're looking at something specific. You can't really investigate chi grip the same way as you investigate chi cell. Mm-hmm. You're on one leg, you haven't got much time. You're restricted in what you can do. Mm-hmm. You have to develop a ways of responding fairly quickly. So you need, it's more important to have a strong structure so you're stable to use your energy off the floor. Mm-hmm. of time that you've got. If you can destroy something, if you can take somebody's stance out, all well and good. But the main thing is to keep your center line covered, protected, in the position and structures, and then you come off the ground using energy that will disrupt your opponent. So you're looking at ways of investigating that. And the best way to do it is to play with it. Right. It's to become aware of the leg. Experience the movement of that. Use it. The different energies. Feeling the use of the different energies. That's how you're going to progress. Now.